reflection or axosymmetry and plane mirror reflection in, in analytic geometry. And I will represent to you, uh, I will present, present to you a lesson plan. Uh, I did it with my uh, colleague Bilana. She is here now and she is a physics teacher. So uh, she is the only physicist in our summer school in Eger or in, or in Belgrade also. <laughs> And we did it together. Uh, and uh, our uh, main idea was to uh, connect. Uh, oops, sorry. I'm sorry.
uh, focus uh, its activities uh, to outcomes. Uh, now I will uh, show you uh, the lesson plan. Is it too bad? Too small? Okay, I'll try to do this. This is, uh, this is the, uh, the pattern what we got from uh, uh, materials to, that we have to, to uh, fill for. Uh, this is the description of the lesson and uh, how 45 minutes are divided into 5 minutes, 30 minutes, and 10 minutes. Uh, some methods and uh, competencies. And uh, uh, this is uh, what they got for homework. Uh, it actually comes on the end, but you will see it now. And uh, uh, they had uh, some, uh, to make some toys, like periscope and uh, kaleidoscope to experience that uh, through the game, okay. And uh, the first group had a task, uh, uh, they, their exercise is a, a plain mirror in the Cartesian coordinate system, laser experiment. Sorry, I forgot to say that uh, uh, the students are third age uh, high school, they are 17 years old. And uh, we had some uh, other ideas uh, how to connect physics, art, and math also in the first grade, uh, but uh, uh, for some other time, or at least for some other time. The first uh, group had a plain mirror in the Cartesian coordinate system. Uh, their task was to calculate angle B. The plain mirror is, uh, in, is on the position uh, y, y is equal B. Uh, and how to set laser beam, laser beam, uh, so that after mirror reflection hits the given point A. So they had to calculate that. And also, uh, with the second task was also with the laser beam. Uh, and the laser beam uh, is a parallel uh, to Ypsilon axis, but they had to calculate the angle of how to tilt, uh, to, how to tilt the mirror so the reflected ray hits the origin. That was the first uh, uh, for, for the first group. And the second group, they had something uh, that I'm very proud of uh, because uh, uh, I, I really like that mirror curves. And uh, somehow I made the, the tasks for children to uh, first to continue drawing and start it. And, uh, after that, to calculate the sum of the all gradients or straight lines, so they will see that it is a monolinear curve, and uh, the sum of uh, and the gradients are um, <coughs> one or minus one because it's 45 degrees. So they will find the sum is zero, and uh, they have some instructions on the right side, and the third. The third group had uh, mirror curves in Cartesian coordinate system uh, in a plane. Uh, pictures are very similar, but uh, and the first task is exactly the same, but the second one is to calculate the length of the resulting mirror curve. So that uh, mirror curve is monolinear linear also. The fourth group had uh, uh, 
Vienna made that uh, experiment with uh, two plane mirrors and uh, they had uh, to connect uh, those mirrors with a hazard tape and uh, to see how the number of images uh, depend on the on the angle uh, between mirrors and to explain that. And the second uh, two mirrors uh, are set in the opposite angle, it's a 45 degrees angle, and uh, point A is located between the mirrors, so they have to, uh, as it is started here, they have to continue to, to draw the images, and uh, after that, to calculate the coordinates of all the images. Uh, the fifth one, you can see Zemlska Gymnasia flash here. It's not from the internet, it's really... <coughs> and the fifth group, uh, also a number of images. Uh, it's uh, almost the same uh, picture, and uh, the first task is the same, but uh, the second one is different. They have to uh, come to the conclusion that all those uh, images and uh, and point A that's given, they belong to the same circle and they have to find the equation of that circle. And the second one is, uh, you know, we, we all have uh, some mirrors in the house, but uh, sometimes we uh, don't see the full figure. And this uh, is a very interesting uh, uh, task that they have to calculate how long it has to be a mirror and uh, how to set the mirror on the wall so you can see uh, your figure in full. But, uh, uh, and it's interesting really, I know that maybe half a year ago, <laughs> that's uh, what I discovered now. Uh, Vilena says that they uh, learn it uh, in uh, physics. Uh, but uh, it's very simple uh, because of uh, the properties of triangle and the middle line in triangle, uh, the mirror has to be uh, uh, half of your size and the upper point has to be in line of your eyes. So if you put mirror like this, so uh, you will see yourself in full, in full figure uh, uh, and it doesn't depend how far you are from that mirror. So it's interesting, uh, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and uh, the second one is, uh, uh, this is the figure, and this is the, the image of the, that figure, and they, they have to uh, see where to put mirror. It's uh, 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 point uh, five here, you see, and, and if they put the mirror uh, on that place, they will uh, do the job. So uh, the, the students uh, have to be dis divided in six groups. Uh, you saw the, the uh, materials uh, that uh, were given uh, to students. And uh, uh, this is, I will skip that, and uh, I will show you the answers. Uh, they really use the methods of analytic geometry and the uh, answers are uh, very, very simple, but short and simple, but they have to know. And this is good when we, uh, after, after they, they learn uh, that lesson, so they, when they uh, make uh, some systematization. Uh, and uh, this is for me. <coughs> and uh, also for mirror curves, and uh, number of images. They have to uh, fill uh, the, the table and uh, to come to uh, this uh, conclusion here that they have, uh, how, how they can calculate how, how many images they can see. Uh, uh, in a, a shopping center, Ušće, in a, a, a store cut, cotton, cotton cloth, no, cotton. Uh, they have uh, uh, in uh, uh, dressing rooms, they have uh, mirrors set in a, um, 
unbelievable way. So you can see uh, your body in a fewer different positions. Uh, well, sometimes it's not good, sometimes it's good. <laughs> so, um, and this is the sixth group. So, uh, what I would like to say on the end is that I'm very proud that we did it together. Uh, physics teacher, math teacher, and uh, uh, we connected it uh, to art. Uh, we found in, a, uh, uh, in a curriculum for uh, school subject art in a high school, some, uh, a lot of things that where we can uh, connect those three subjects. Now, uh, uh, I would like to uh, ask Bilana to show you uh, how we made it. It's very simple. On the, uh, in the second,